happen quite quickly for me with Rogers Cop and US Open shooting me up so quickly. I mean, for the most part, once you get used to it, it's pretty fun, but it could be challenging at first. Obviously, it's a lot of travel. You're staying at different hotels, different cities every week. You're always kind of in the spotlight with the fans and training in front of people. So it just takes a little bit of time to get used to it. And I feel like a lot of players, they might get frustrated with it at the beginning. And I know I did. It was a little bit, you know, uncomfortable for me. I didn't feel at home. But once you really kind of look back into it, you have some time to kind of think it over. After you know what to expect, it's a lot easier. And honestly, I started to enjoy it a lot more. Now I could, you know, really say that I'm loving being on the tour. I'm loving playing all these new tournaments and traveling the world, seeing these cool cities. We like to, first of all, obviously visit the cities a little bit, hang out, you know, see the different cultures, experience different foods. Um, lately, what we've been doing, we've been trying to post a couple videos. A bunch of us like filming and been putting some stories up for the fans to kind of engage them as well and help them see what we do besides tennis. So that has been a lot of fun for our team and kind of just bonding with your team, finding what you guys all like to do. I think it's really important to have a couple friends with you from back home, you know, travel with you a couple weeks. It could get pretty lonely on the road, on the tour, especially when you're in Europe for a long time or this Asia swing, you know, it's, it's really long and so far from home. So having a couple friends with you definitely helps take your mind off things, but definitely having a good team around you that kind of keeps your focus in check, keeps your goals in front of you. Just do the best I can every tournament.